everyone. Today I'm going to be making a video on a finger tricks. So, um, to start, home grip is the most important grip because uh, uh, it's where both of your thumbs are here on the front face and then the other uh, fingers are in the back here. And it's important uh, because from here you can do arm moves with your wrist and L moves also with your wrist. So, uh, and you also have access to U and D moves, F moves. So, uh, first, uh, first let's start off with R. So with R, you always want to do wrist turns. Uh, unless like in a G perm, like when you're here, then you want to go one more like that instead of here and then a re-gripping here to go here again. So you want to do that. And then do the G perm. So yeah, R moves and L moves. You uh, so you pretty much want to do it with your wrist. L prime also. Oh, sorry, L prime this way. L is this way. R R prime. You always want to do them with, with your wrist. Next, uh, which is the most important one I think, is uh, U moves. So for U, there's actually uh, a lot of ways. So for, uh, if so if you want to turn it clockwise, then you, with your point finger, you just m move it like that, just do a flick. Or uh, if, if you're more advanced, then you can do it uh, like that. So you bring in uh, your lefty pointer finger and you do it like that. So you, so you just drag it with your lefty pointer finger to do a U. And that like is good in an M perm, like R, U, R prime. Then here you do the reverse, and then you continue doing it. Wow, I just locked up on that M perm. Okay, and then also, oh, which is super advanced, uh, so, uh, so you can do push with your left finger like that, which is very helpful, especially in the G perm. So, R2, and then instead of uh, re-gripping here to do U, instead you can just push it with this finger here, and then continue doing the G perm. And then, and then for U prime, it's the same thing. You just do it with a flick, like that. And a U prime, uh, uh, and yeah, and then another way to do it is to do it with your point finger, like that. Or... I can push it like that. Next uh, is F moves. So for F, you want to do uh, it like that. So you hold your thumb on the center, uh, and then with your pointer finger, you want to do it like that. A while, like your other fingers, your thumb is down here, and then these two fingers are over here. And then you can do an F move. Like that. Or, uh, if you're lefty, then you can uh, do it uh, with your thumb. Uh, a reverse move. Like that. And, and it's very helpful. And then, also, uh, if your hand is up here for some reason, then you can just drag it like that. And then the same goes for F prime. So F prime, you want to do this, which is like an... A J perm you here, you just do that. And then uh, also uh, uh, you can also do it like this, uh, a reverse thumb move. So uh, if after a move then uh, your right hand is here, then you can just do it like that, a reverse thumb move. Uh, like in an F perm here, and then instead of are we gripping here and then doing F and, and and then continuing? You can just do here F prime. Um, and then for D, so with D, uh, you want to, uh, with your left ring finger, you just want to push it like that. And then, or uh, you can, uh, so this isn't very common, but I can do a reverse. Move like that, or 
or, or you can push it this way with your right uh, ring finger. And then for D prime, it's the same. You want to do this or this. And then for D2, you want to do uh, it like this, and then a follow up. Followed up by your middle finger like that. So ring finger, middle, ring, middle. And it may seem pretty awkward at first, but uh, but you'll get used to it. And same for the other side, you can just do it like that. Oh, like in a V perm, then you can do it like, uh, wait, hold on, like this, and then here can do it like that and then uh where was i uh sorry i got lost in the v perm sorry guys i'm learning i'm learning oh my gosh Right, it took me long enough so v perm ring finger and then here you can do uh, a reverse push like that and then here a double flick with your ring finger like that r2 uh sorry no and then r2 r i swear Okay, and then push it like that. Sorry. Okay, and then you want to do an R R two, and then from here, a, a, a lot of people will just do, uh, like that. But I like to do it like this, uh, since my, uh, a finger. Actually, no, my hand is already here. I'm just gonna do it like that. So like that, and put it back down. Uh, and wow, I failed. I can never do a, a V perm slowly. It just doesn't work for me. I'll flip the corner. Just doesn't work. But quickly, uh, I can do a V perm. perm. All right. So quickly, it just looks like that. Yeah, uh, and for M moves, then, uh, you want to do it like this. So with your ring finger, you want to do it like that, like in a Z perm. And then for M prime, you want to, uh, do a, a reverse move like that. And, and then for M2, then, uh, you either do it. Your ring finger, a, a, a followed by your a middle finger, like in an H perm. Oh, sorry. Must have been H perm. Gosh. Oh, yeah. And then for also for you two, you want to just do flicks like that. Um, Or for M2, I can do it like this, uh, a wide R. And then R prime, uh, followed by an M, so we don't have to uh, regrip. And then for uh, back and back prime, then uh, for back uh, prime, then uh, so you can do it like that. Push, which uh, back moves aren't very great, but if you have to, then. I do it like that, or I can uh, push it like that with your pointer finger, a reverse push. Um, and then for back, you just do it like that, or I uh, so you can do it reverse, uh, like that. But um, uh, back moves aren't very common, 
so I so I wouldn't worry about it. S moves uh, also aren't very common, but if you have to do an S move, then you want to drag it like that with your pointer finger down, and then for S prime, do it with your right hand, or uh, for uh, you want to push it like that, or you can do it like that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye.